Hi, everyone. I've been reading through your comments and I've noticed a few of you are not understanding the parts of adding and subtracting mixed numbers, especially when it comes to regrouping or borrowing. So don't worry. Today, I'm going to make that process a whole lot easier for you. Now, with that said, all right, math legends, let's see if you can solve this math problem before I do. If you got the answer, let me know in the comment section down below and subscribe to get more challenges like this one. We have 14, 1 over 3 minus 7, 11 over 12. So we are subtracting mixed numbers. We are not going to turn these mixed numbers into improper fraction because that will take a lot of math and a lot of multiplication with big numbers and all. So we're not going to do that. We're going to expand these mixed numbers and put them in parentheses around them like this. So 14 plus 1 over 3, and they'll be in the parentheses, minus 7 plus 11 over 12. And 7 plus 11 over 12, it's inside these parentheses. Next, I want to distribute this minus symbol to the 7 and to the 11 over 12. And it'll be written like this, 14 plus 1 over 3 minus 7 minus 11 over 12. And that way, um, we can just group the whole numbers and the fractions, and that way we, not, we are not dealing with parentheses. So 14 minus 7, so I'll write it here, 14 minus 7 equals 7. And then we're going to solve 1 over 3 minus 11 over 12. Notice that both fractions are unlike fractions, meaning that the denominators are different. So we need to make our denominators the same because we cannot subtract or add unlike fractions, meaning the, the, the denominators are different. We need to make them the same. And so we need to find the lowest common multiple, which is the smallest number that both the denominators can divide into. And we can make a multiple table, and we have space here, like this. And so we'll write 3 for this denominator and 12 for that denominator, and then we'll write the factors 1, 2, 3. I'll stop at 4, and now we just have to multiply the factor and the denominator. So 1 times 3, we're looking for the multiples of 3. So 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, oops, and 4 times 3 is 12. I know you can't barely see that. I'll write it here. So multiples of 3 is 3, or the multiples of this 3, the denominator is 3, 6, 9, and 12. And now we'll do the same thing here for 12. So 1 times 12 is 12. Notice that 12 on in the second column appears the same in the first column. So our lowest common multiple is 12. So that's good. And I'll write it here. Lowest multiple or the least common, sorry, least common multiple is 12. Now, we need to turn the denominator 3 into 12. So we look at the table and see that we used 4 to get our 12. So we will multiply the top and the bottom of this fraction by 4. 
So if I write the force like that, and same thing here. We looked at the one and that gave us 12. So I'll multiply the bottom by one and the top by one, and we just multiply. So we got four times one is four, four times three is 12, minus 11 times one is 11, 12 times one is 12. And now we just subtract, but there's something going on here. It's gonna give me a negative um, fraction. So we need to borrow, and we're gonna borrow from this seven here. And we need some space. So let me just write it here. Let me just make this space here just, just for that. So I'm gonna write it like this. Seven plus four over 12 minus 11 over 12, just like that. And we're gonna borrow a one from this. So it will be six plus one and then plus four over 12. Oops, I ran out of space. It mi it minus 11 over 12. Oops, I ran out of space. Okay, let me just write it here. Six plus one plus four. So I'll just do this there. 6 plus 1 plus 4 over 12 minus 11 over 12. And then I'm going to, um, what's that word, um, replace that 1 with 12 over 12 because that's our LCM. Or now we have our new uh, low common denominator. So we'll write six plus 12 over 12, right? And then we're gonna add 12 over 12 to this four over 12. And that will give us, so 12 plus four is 12, 13, 40, 50, 16 over 12. So now this becomes 16 over 12. So it'll be six plus, 16 over 12 minus 11 over 12. So 16 minus 11 is five over 12. And so our answer is six, five over 12. And there you go.